All right, we're going to talk very briefly about transformers that you all learned this last year. These are the last year's lecture notes. This is just a reminder. Um, basic idea behind transformers. You have a primary coil and a secondary coil. You have an AC voltage source. Wait a second. Why doesn't this work with DC? Uh, oh, because... Oh shoot, that was his day. Shoot, why doesn't this work with, a, with DC? Hold on. All right, so the way this works is if you have alternating current going through the primary side, it will create a field that changes, right? Yeah. Which this changing flux will induce a current in the secondary coil. But if the flux isn't changing, will you induce any current? No. No, so that's why DC doesn't, transformers can't possibly work with direct current. Wait, so it doesn't depend, so you don't get like current through that little thing? No, there's no current in this little iron core here. That just is a, a magnetic field holder. It's called a, it's called a core. But uh, it, it serves to basically contain most, almost all of the magnetic field inside of itself. So very little magnetic field leaves that, that torus, that, that donut. I think we learned this last year when we got that so Yeah. Uh, well, uh, maybe, possibly. Wait, that, that core is actually super important because otherwise the flux from this coil goes everywhere, or the field goes everywhere, and only very little of the field actually goes into the secondary. Yeah, it makes it way, way more efficient. The, the iron core is like, it's magnetic, right? It's a magnetic material. And so it concentrates the field inside of itself. And so the field will, almost all the field that comes from the primary will actually go into the secondary. So without the core, a transformer is like very, very inefficient. Like... 5% or 1% efficient, and that's no good if you're losing 95% of your energy. That would be really bad, especially if you're putting a lot of power through it, and 95% of the power gets lost as weight, waste heat. That means you're going to light stuff on fire. So, yeah, you need the core. All right, so how does it work? Well, uh, assuming it was 100% efficient, that means 100% of the power going in has to equal equal the power coming out, right? But power in a circuit is voltage times current. So the voltage times current in has to equal the voltage times current out. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, I'm skipping straight to the end here. Voltage times current for the primary has to equal voltage times current for the secondary. And we also know that the voltage induced in the secondary is equal to the ratio of the number of coils on the secondary, the secondary windings, to the number of coils on the primary, the primary windings. So therefore you get, and you can go through this derivation on your own, um, you end up with the current through the prime, the current through the secondary equals the current through the primary div times the number of primary coils divided by the number of secondary coils. All right, so anyway, basic ideas for a transformer, once again, you're gonna assume that all the flux that goes through the primary, because it has a core, goes through the secondary. And the flux would be equal to, according to Faraday's law, the rate of change of the flux times the number of coils equals the voltage across it. And assuming these two rates of change of flux are equal, we therefore get the voltage on the primary divided by the number of coils on the primary equals the voltage on the secondary divided by the number of coils on the secondary. And you can use that relationship to solve everything you need. So bottom line, okay, so let's say you put 1,000 volts into the primary side. All right, and you had 100 coils on the primary side, 
and a thousand coils on the secondary side. I want you to say that again. Yeah. Put a thousand volts into the primary side. You have a hundred coils on the primary and a thousand coils on the secondary. What is the secondary side voltage going to be? 10,000 10, 10, volts. <clears throat> it's going to be 10 times as much, right? Isn't it? Is that, that's yeah, right, no, isn't that's it? Right. That's right. I'm, I didn't do that backwards, did I? Nope. So the key is the ratio. The voltage on the secondary equals the ratio of the secondary coils divided by the primary coils times the voltage on the primary. So if you have 10 times as many coils on the secondary, you get 10 times as much voltage out. Good? Okay, that's it.